Well, you guys got another video on how to control automatic updates on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, we all know that Microsoft released regular updates for their operating system. Unfortunately, they don't always go smoothly and they can break your operating system. And this can cause major problems for a lot of people. This is why I prefer to pause my Windows updates for at least a month before I install it onto my system. A lot of people will jump up to install the latest updates right away without waiting to see if there's any known issues with these updates. Now we all know Microsoft have got a pretty bad record of releasing updates which break your operating system. And this is why some people tend to pause updates for a while until they find out whether the update is stable. And you can check this out on their website. Now whether it's feature updates or security updates, if you install them right away, you're not going to know whether this is going to be a successful update without having any sort of bugs or issues. So I always tend to pause my updates and wait just a month uh, or six weeks before I even roll out that update. Normally I'll read some news sites to see whether there's any sort of news on these latest releases. And normally I make videos on updates that have broken people's operating systems. So. If it's up to you whether you update your system right away, you're not going to be at any immediate risk if you don't update your system immediately. Now, Microsoft do offer a pause feature inside their Windows operating system, but this only gives you a week. And I've made videos showing you how to extend this for longer periods of time. So maybe that solution is better for you. Unfortunately, if you're a home user, you're not going to have uh, tools like uh, group policy editor, which is going to allow you to also make changes to your Windows updates and add in more uh, pause time for your updates. Unfortunately, for home users, they don't get this privilege. And again, you are pretty limited on the home version. But don't worry, there is a solution called WU10 Man, and it's a pretty nice little tool to be able to manage your Windows updates. It does work with Windows 10 and Windows 11. You can either download the portable version or you can download the installation version. And this will give you a little bit more control over your Windows updates. So let me show you exactly how this works so you can uh, see whether this sort of program is for you. I'm going to use the portable version here so you can see how it works. And uh, what we're going to do is extract these files into the same location here. And uh, I'll open it up and you can have a look at it. Now, remember, there is other ways of going about doing this. This is just one option which you can use to pause your updates or even stop them. So let's go ahead and run this program. Now, it does come under the unknown publisher, and that's because it hasn't been registered. When the user account control pops up, I'm going to say yes to run the actual application. And now we've got the program open. You can see there's four tabs up the top called Windows Services, Pause Updates, Beta Declutter, and also Beta scheduled tasks. So let's go ahead and look at the Windows Services tab first. You can see it's broken down into a few sections here, and these are all related to the Windows updates. So the first section is actually going to stop the Windows updates and stop you receiving Windows updates, and this will completely disable it. The other version is going to be pausing your updates, and you can see here there's a message saying this may not stop Windows updates. I have tried it and it does pause them and you've got the option to pause Windows updates until a certain date and you can also put the number of days to differ uh, updates as well. And these are for feature updates and also quality updates which are going to be listed here which is going to be your security updates and stuff. So you can set that up there and then we've also got this area here called uh, beta declutter. This is the declutter or debloat the system and uninstall all the Windows clutter here. I've not used this one yet, and I'll save that for another video because we're talking about Windows updates in this one here. But this uh, scheduled tasks here, this is to do with the Windows updates also. But we're going to concentrate on the first two tabs in this video, and I'm going to disable all of the services here. And you can now see that the uh, Windows services or the Windows updates has been disabled. So let me go ahead and quickly show you exactly what happens here. When you go back to the settings panel and go to Windows updates, it will say that it's uh, stopped. You can see update failed, and that's because it's been stopped. And it will give you that error code there, and that's because we physically stopped the update. And it won't work until you enable it again. So that's basically how you can stop it using that method there. Now, if you want to re enable it, you'll just have to enable all of the services here. So let me go ahead and do this, and we'll probably have to restart the PC 
to make this work properly. So we've got those changed now, and what we're going to do is close this off, and I'm going to quickly restart the PC, and then we can uh, give this a quick test to see whether it has uh, fixed our Windows updates and put it back to normal. Now, sometimes these programs are a bit risky because they can obviously break your Windows updates, but hopefully this has worked okay. And I'm just now starting to update Windows. And you can see it's working perfectly fine. So you could use this to basically stop the Windows update service altogether if you're one of those people that don't want to receive Windows updates. Personally, it's really dangerous not to update your security updates or feature updates after a certain period. So it's always best to keep updated but it just means that you can pause it for a period of time, maybe every four to six weeks, and then you can turn this on and run it. That way you're not going to have any sort of known issues because most of those issues would have been ironed out by Microsoft by that time. So if you're one of those people that likes to use this method, by all means, you can do. And I'm going to quickly restart the system now because I've re-enabled uh, the updates here and you can see it's already started to download and install these updates on the computer so with that said you can see the updates are now installing perfectly fine and uh, this would be a method for people that want to pause or stop updates uh, for any length of time but like i've said before you start jumping and screaming in the comment section i'm not advising you to stop your windows updates for indefinite periods it's all okay to stop them for a period of time before you update them. So let's take a look at the update service now and we'll go ahead and we'll use the pause feature. You can see it's working perfectly fine. I'm going to open the application up again and we'll try the pause feature on this so you don't have to stop the whole service. Just go ahead and get the application opened up and what we'll do is we'll give it another test. I'm going to go back inside here and we can run the app again one more time and say yes here and this will open up the application and we'll go to the pause feature on here and see if this works let me go ahead now and go over to the pause updates area and let's just say we're going to pause this for three days just so we can see whether it's working okay so you can select the date here for pausing the uh, feature updates these are going to be your major updates from windows and i'm going to go ahead and click on this calendar here and we'll change this and give this maybe three days here now remember this feature is going to pause your feature updates and also your security updates. So let me go ahead and just quickly do this for a test. We'll set this for that period of time there, which is a few days. And we'll go down and you can put the number of days uh, to defer updates on there as well. So let's just give this a free, something like that. And then we can go down and do the quality updates as well. We'll give that the same time uh, for this one here, but you can give these different times uh, for yourself if you want to. Let me go ahead and give this the same date so we know exactly what we're doing here. And we'll give this a free as well. And we can click save here. And once we save this, we can go back to the Windows Updates panel and we can take a look here. And you should see a pause sign on here now. And there you go, the, uh, the updates have been paused and they won't be able to run. Now this feature is quite useful if you want to just pause your updates for say for instance a month or six weeks or whatever it is you want to choose to pause your updates for before you roll out an update. And it won't download them because it's been paused. So this is quite a useful feature. Let me go back into the application again and clear all of these settings here so we can uh, put it back to normal here. I'm going to clear this now. And once we clear it, we can click save and go back into our update section. We should now see the green check mark here now has been put back. So that's quite a useful little feature for people that want to use the pause method that don't have it inside the, the Windows Home section. And also, if they don't have uh, the feature to extend it for longer periods of time other than just one week. Now, we'll look at this last one. This is in beta, so I'm not going to touch any of this stuff. But basically, this is the Windows uh, scheduled tasks here. And this is to uh, do with the Windows Update section as well. But I'm just going to leave those as is for now for this video but hopefully that helps you out and uh, if you're looking to pause your windows updates for a longer period of time or maybe even stop your windows updates which i wouldn't advise for long periods of time but if you want to do it that's how you can do it with this little application pretty neat and nifty my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i'll leave all the links and information in the video description just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group 
I do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.